welcome uh, hello YouTube I this is so cheesy okay I, mean, I don't even want to do this part but I am Kiana and there are Hi YouTube, welcome, 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 and I hope you welcome me. Hello, hello from the other side. Mm. Mm. No, but for real. Hi YouTube, um, this has been a long, long, long time coming. So I'm gonna, this will be probably the longest of longest videos I ever make, hopefully. I don't plan to have y'all sitting around for like 20 minutes at a time. I think that's a bit excessive, but I, I'm going to get through this introduction. So it'll have to be the last one. And maybe I'll just link this in my like first time, my video, my, my first video blah, 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 in the rest of my videos for a while. So people can know what's going on. So without further ado, um, my name is Kiana. I am a professional makeup artist and I have been doing makeup professionally for about eight years. I've worked with the best of them um, company-wise, MAC, NARS, Urban Decay, Benefit, Bare Essentials, Too Faced. I was like a freelancer for a lot of those companies. MAC was the very first company I ever worked for and I was an employee there. Um, NARS was the very last company I worked for and I was an employee there. And then the ones in between, I kind of just like freelanced for them. So here's the thing, I've been asked many times by different people to start a channel, you should do it, you should do it, you should do it, and I think if you've worked at MAC before, which most artists have, I think when, you know, first started at MAC in like 2009, but I was doing makeup before that, um, you get so brainwashed with them that you think like they're the best thing, it's the end all be all, nothing else is better, nothing can stand next to them, whatever. So for no reason whatsoever, I jumped on the, I'm not on a YouTube channel, YouTuber, that's not even a real makeup artist. Like for what? Because mad YouTubers have respect, whether they are um, a hobbyist or a prof professional makeup artist, they are talented period.com, .org, .gov, whatever you want to call it. So, um, hands down to the women who have been doing this for a very long time and have been very successful while doing it because this stuff is not easy. I am the most computer, computer illiterate person you will probably ever meet. So I have done so much research before starting this and deciding to start it. Um, and hopefully I can be pretty consistent with it. Um, I just want to come and show my side of artistry. Um, I feel like we all have a little bit in common, but for me personally, I have never been one to stop growing, stop learning. I'm always like, but why did you do that? What? Why did you use that brush? Okay, that was cute. Okay, you just taught me something new. I, I just think there is never an opportunity, or there's always an opportunity to grow, rather. There is never not an opportunity to learn, is what I was going to say. So, um... For me, I've been researching and doing this and watching everyone's videos. Of course, I follow all the gurus and all of them on here and Instagram and Snapchat and whatsoever. Um, so I just kind of want to come from my perspective, which not to say won't be similar to theirs, but the one thing that I'm not sure if most of them are or are not, um, I'm an esthetician as well. And I also want to come from like a brown girl perspective and as you will see when the video first starts, and this is not why I'm a makeup artist, let's just put that out there. I suffer from acne scarring. So there may be women out there who may need to look to someone who they may feel like they look more like because these beauties are literally beauty. Like they take off their makeup and they have no blemishes and they have no scars and they, it's clear. Like the only other person that I can think of is my pale skin and I commend her for being so brave and putting out um, her video and she did and just continuing to go regardless of all the negative comments and I'm sure if I'm consistent with this I will get some along the way as well but again I, I never chose makeup to cover my scars I'm just one of the people who suffer from scarring my skin scars whether it's a scratch on my arm a pimple on my face a nick on my butt like I just scar I, I'm, that's the skin I have so 
let's just put that out there because I will start my videos some days with makeup, probably most times without. And you will see my scarring. And as an esthetician, it sucks because sometimes I feel like, how can I be trying to get someone else to have great skin when I can't even get my own? But I have many success stories with my um, women, so I'm not worried about that. Unfortunately for me, I just cannot clear this up. You will see. So, back to the makeup. I just want to come from my point of view and how I feel about makeup. Um, it is something that I love. I've done it for a very long time. Um, I got into it because I went to perform in art school all my life. So, I've always had to do my makeup and be stage ready, cheerleader ready, marching band ready, dance ready, sing ready. Like... I just always had to be ready with a face beat to the gods. Like I did not plan to be a makeup artist. In fact, I don't even know if I really knew that was like a real job. I went to school for dance, instrumental, and vocal. Where, where is the makeup artist? Where is she? But that's what I am. And I was pretty successful back home. We'll revisit that word. Um, so yeah it just kind of came naturally i didn't go to school for it i didn't no one like taught me i taught myself and playing around with friends and family members i just taught myself so um a few seconds ago i said back home so i am currently if you saw my page says posh takes tokyo that's my hashtag on my instagram so I live in Tokyo currently and that is because I am a military wife so my life has changed tremendously and this is one of the reasons that I've started or looked into starting and hopefully will continue um, YouTube channels because I have a lot of time on my hands now before I could never sit still before I worked pretty much seven days a week um, I was in the wedding industry I had a hair partner and we were booked every weekend and throughout the week I would do my aesthetics so brows waxing facials so now um i have like every day to sit still um i do run an at-home business so there are no maybe not this time so i have like it's a, there's a whole setup i'm in my studio right now okay well i can't find everything but one day we'll do that um i do run an at-home business here and it is doing the best that it can because though i'm on a base We'll talk about that a little later video. Um, but I am doing this because I have too much time on my hands. So it's like, if I'm going to have this time on my hands, then I might as well do something fun. So why not do this? So that's a little bit about me. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to ask me. I'm pretty much an open book. Um, don't, don't do no extra stuff, though. Don't be extra. So... This is the look that I will be doing for you today. If you want to see this look, stay tuned. Um, please subscribe. Please like. Please comment. Please be nice. It's my first time. And by the way, I know my lighting is like retarded right now. I will work on it. it like I said, it's my first time. My highlight look like it's on a beam in the middle of my forehead. Like seriously, it's just like I tried to turn my lighting down. I tried to focus my camera more. Like, I'm just not winning right now. So, I'll figure it out along the way. That's, that's what's going to happen. I'll just figure it out along the way because, uh, I don't know. It's my first time. So, please like, subscribe, comment. <laughs> if you have any tips for me starting out, I would love that too. Um, I really hope that this becomes something. Um, I love teaching. I've done many makeup classes, so this is not, this probably will also sometimes like have other people as my model and not just me. Um, but yeah, guys, that's it. That's, that's all I got for you right now. Welcome. And I hope to get a good clientele or follower, subscriber, um, and that we make this thing happen and you send me what looks you want or talk to me and keep me from being bored. Okay. Bye guys. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next.